got it. I mean, not everybody gets this film, but the people who get it really get it. Well, I mean, this was just so creative, and it's something that I've been doing this festival 21 years now. And I have never, it's very rare when something just makes me sit up and go, oh my God. And that's what you did. Where did this idea come from to do Love Between the Covers? Um, I have made other films about women's communities who nobody has taken seriously before. One was a diary of a midwife and healer who moved to Maine during the American Revolution kept a diary for 27 years. Incredible. That historians had dismissed, full of trivial detail. It's not. It's an amazing sort of window into early American history. And then I did a film about the early years of Tupperware, which is really fun, great story. Another group of women who nobody took seriously, but it's a great, you know, interesting, vibrant, very female community. And so anytime I hear about a group of women that is huge and nobody takes them seriously it's like a green light for me it's like hey I'm gonna take a look there's got to be something interesting there how much research th because this is so chock full of history and facts you know going back thousands of years the archetypes of the history of romance the happily ever after that people want how how long was your research pro process for this a uh, couple years I mean I also had scholars who were you know on board they never get to make decisions, but I basically, you know, ask them for advice. I read lots of books. I, you know, and and so I had people who knew about the psychology of love and the history of love and the history of literature and love poetry. And nothing could be more basic. You know, nothing could be more human than people writing about love. And to understand that in context rather than just the sort of superficial dismissal of, you know, um, you know, of, of the the paperback romance novel. Well, what's norm they're normally called bodice rippers, but that was like, uh, it's not true. There's everything, as you know, having seen the film, there's everything from evangelical romance mm -hmm. to vampires and werewolves, historical, contemporary, African-American, lesbian, male-male, BDSM. I mean, that's, and, and Amish. I mean, and sci-fi. And sci-fi. And time travel. I mean... So they're very creative and, you know, these women have a multi-billion dollar industry that's keeping publishing afloat. So how exciting is it to be here on the red carpet for LA Film Festival with Love Between the Covers? Very exciting. It's a wonderful place to be. I mean, it's a great festival and it's a wonderful place for my U.S. premiere. I'm really proud to be here. Well, congratulations. I love it. It is a must-see festival film, and I can't wait to see the next one you do. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. I'm even thinking about possibly writing a feature set in the romance world, which I think would be a lot of fun. I think you've got the research part down. <laughs> Have fun. Thank you.